Thursday, 8.02 p.m. Thursday, February 23rd, 8.02 p.m. I have a ton of notes. I spent eight hours today going all the way back to biochemistry and really thinking about things on the cellular level, which is what I'm trained in, molecular and cellular biology. I have forgotten a lot. So back to, I mentioned in the first one, ketogenic diet. What does that mean? Why do I care? How does it work? How will it serve me? Um, fatty acids broken down into ketones, and those ketones can be formed into substrates that enter the Krebs cycle. Why is the Krebs cycle important? That is how we, that's cellular respiration. So that took me on a nice biochem lecture and take home message. What really was the, the main point? Take home message. Anaerobic respiration. Glucose converted into pyruvate. Pyruvate converted into lactic acid. This is anaerobic metabolism and it yields a total of four ATP and the limiting rate step is PDH, which is the enzyme that converts pyruvate to lactic acid. And ketones, specifically beta-hydroxybutyrate, can be shuttled into the mitochondria and basically hijack the Krebs cycle. Beta-hydroxybutyrate is Convert it into acetoacetate, which can, can then be um, tran not transformed. Oh my god! Why are you blinking? Is converted. That's the word. Converted to acetyl CoA, which then can enter the Krebs cycle. And if you want to be specific for biochem people, it's in between succinyl CoA and succinate. I think. All right. What else do I have? If we look at or think about our macronutrients, carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, we know that fats are the most I don't want to say nutrient dense. I'm getting my words tangled up here. Um, I don't know. I'm confused. Calorically dense, not all the time. Nutrient dense. Ener ah, there we go. Energy dense. The most energy dense, right? Nine kilocalories per gram. So piecing these things together got me thinking about thermodynamics and Gibbs free energy and what's what's happening at that level, cellular level. What else? I think much of the debate right now with the ketogenic diet is is this a metabolically superior state to be in? What benefits do we get from it and coupling this like you, you take this so I'm, I'm thinking about how it's working on the cellular level and yes the advantageous effects it can have so next is my physical performance and I have started training hit training what does that even mean if I mention that? And when I say physical performance, that led me to a slew of different things. So metrics that can be defined and measured, we can be specific in it. There are four. Aerobic capacity, probably more actually. Aerobic capacity, anaerobic power, muscular strength, and muscular endurance. All of those should get the wheels turning in your head as to what does that mean? And how do we measure those outcomes? How can we measure that work output, mechanical work? So here's a bunch of different other parameters that you can think of. Speed, strength, agility, endurance, flexibility, coordination, speed. How are, 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 what kind of goals do I want? I don't even know yet. So I threw myself into training, I'm throwing myself into the research, and 
I modified my diet, which still not 100% confident about for reasons like how do you measure total energy expenditure. Uh, there are crude measurements of that and calculators online that you can use. I'm not going to say anything about those right now. And I want to make my own N equals 1 experiment. And how do I do that? What are the, how can I track my progress? Um, there's so many different factors that I'm thinking about. That one, physical performance. How am I tracking or monitoring my progress? And then obviously the, my diet, the fuel. How am I fueling my body? And with coupling the ketogenic diet and physical performance, physical activity, what supplements would be best for me? So after eight hours, I'm, I feel like I'm making progress, talking about thermodynamics, rethinking about cellular respiration, and still messing with my diet, like I said, and now the supplements, but I gotta shut it down for today. Most important thing for me is reading the research and thinking for myself. This keto can be a quite controversial topic right now in nutrition, whether you're looking from bench scientists, um, clinicians, doctors are going to have a very different perspective, train differently, um, nutritionists, clinical nutritionists, and elite athletes. All of these are very, very valuable resources. So I'm just digging around and really thinking for myself and what would be best for me. And there's power in that. And N equals one experiment, self experiments can really help you formulate hypotheses and help you figure out, if nothing else, how your body works. So I'm really being tested with knowledge, past, gaining new knowledge, being open minded, and changing the way I think about food and training and my relationship with both compared to being a bodybuilder. So I'm going to stop blabbing and I should probably get more organized as this goes on. But that's that. Have a good night.